week's Parsha, Parshat Noah, there is a very disturbing pasuk, that, a verse that refers to the mankind in the following fashion. Ki adam rami Man is evil from his birth. This pasuk was very disturbing to our medieval commentators who felt that it was very pessimistic and was reminiscent of original sin. Uh, uh, they solved the problem in each in his own way, but if we look at the uh, parsha as a whole, we can solve this problem in a different fashion. There are actually two stories of the flood intertwined. In one story, Noach is a, is a tzaddik, a, a upright, righteous individual, and is worthy of being the start of mankind anew. Uh, in the other story, uh, Noach is a very weak individual, individual and eventually will be rolling around in his nakedness in his tent. In this story, it is God who, so to speak, changes his mind about mankind and makes peace with mankind that is weak and, and uh, succumbs to his evil inclination. In this story, the only uh, way that man can approach God is supplicating him through sacrifice or prayer. By intertwining these two stories, the Torah gives a complete view of man's nature. On the one hand, man is capable of being upright and righteous, and in this capacity he is worthy of the covenant with God for the betterment of the world as a whole, including ecological issues. And the other, he is a weak individual who succumbs to his evil, evil inclinations and needs to turn to God for help. Through these, the, the source telling of the story in, uh, in two fashions intertwined, we have a complete view of the nature of mankind, and it gives us a view of mankind that can give hope. Shabbat Shalom.